So now we have our API figured out. Let's uh, use it in a Crestron program, in a simple Windows program. So I've got a few modules here that were written in simple sharp and we could use those to make HTTP requests. And that's one of the, the advantages of Simple Sharp is that it lets you do these native things, these modern things like HTTP requests. So we've got this module here. It's called Simple Sharp HTTP Get Request. So the method is built into the module. And basically all we need to do is jam in a URL into this input, and then we'll get a response on the output. Now let's take a look at that response again. So this is what we expect back. And this is JSON, JavaScript object notation. And basically all it is is curly braces and inside the curly braces are key value pairs. So it's a key and that's, in this case it would be copyright, a colon, and then the value is CDIC team. And this uh, API put some carriage returns in there. That's not always necessary. And we see that the next key here is date. And then there's the date. And then after that, there's explanation. So these keys will always be the same, copyright, date, explanation, and the values will be variable. So how do we parse those out? Well, I've got a module for that in here as well too. And you'll see it's called simple sharp parse JSON. And I just tied up this response right up here to the content string. And then the key will also do in simple debugger. We'll enter different keys here and see if it spits out a different value. So let's compile this, upload it, and see how it works. Okay, we've got our program loaded up here, and here are our signals. So let me grab that URL again. I'll just grab this right here, and then we'll make our get request. I'll paste that guy right in here. We'll send that over and see what kind of response we get. And the issue here is that the URL is for HTTPS, and the module we're using is for HTTP. So there's two things we could do. We could rewrite our module to support HTTPS, which is basically just putting in that letter, or we could change the request to HTTP. And that's what we'll do for convenience sake right now. And as you see, this API requires HTTPS. And lucky enough, we also have an HTTPS module here. So I'll just grab that guy, pull it into my program, and we'll do that right click copy all signal parameters thing and delete the old one and compile upload and then we'll give this a test and this is something I of course should have noticed when I was dealing with node red I could have tested this very quickly in node red and uh, discovered that HTTP would not work but now we'll have to do the compile reboot upload jig so now we've got everything uploaded and we'll go to our get request here that's the input to that HTTPS module and we'll paste our link in there, the URL, and we'll say send, and you see we get on the response our JSON object. And next step would be to start parsing this thing. And because our response is pretty darn long, this explanation, sorry, this explanation here is, is quite long, which means this string is over 255 characters, so we cannot pass it into simple plus, which means we would have to do the parsing the request, get the response, and do the parsing all in simple sharp, which is a lesson for another day. But if the string you get back is shorter than 255, then you'd be able to use these simple plus modules, pass that string back into it, and parse it out just fine. All right, hope that's helpful.